chair and uh, from a sunny but windy Barbados uh, partially reopened so uh, I just I did a video about me uh, trying to find my swing and uh, one of the things I noticed was uh, I just got out of sync and so this drill that I use is probably my number one drill for getting my swing back uh, I've shot some uh, shots using the using this drill uh, and then hitting the golf ball so you'll see the difference it's not perfect but I'm getting back into it so but this is the drill that I use so what is it it is the tire why do I use the tire because for me the tire does a whole lot of things it's cheap and it works uh, Henry Cotton invented it back in the day and uh, I just don't know why more people don't use the tyre. Now, this is an old uh, range cart tyre, uh, so you can easily get it in your car and bring it down here. It's pretty, pretty light, but it's substantial. And what this does is, your brain, when it sees this tyre, doesn't want to be in a weak, flippy position. That would hurt you. By the way, steel shafts only. And pick an old club, but I don't swing full speed, I swing about 70% when I'm doing this drill. So, steel shafts only. So, what do we want when we hit a golf ball? Well, we want kind of like to uh, be like that, don't we? Forward shaft lean, compressing the ball, rotating towards target. I mean, it's a swing. That's an Ernest Jones, Manuel De La Torre swing. Now, I, when I use the tyre, I can swing perfect. What ruins it is the ball. So I have to keep on working on the tyre, then go to the ball. So, uh, you know, I'll do like 10 swings here, then I'll hit a ball. Come back here, do another 10 swings. I'm ingraining a swing, a swinging motion. I don't have to think about all the bits and pieces because, you know, don't need to. All I need to do is I need to keep my arms loose and then I just need to rotate and turn and I'll get that every single time. Now what I found by using this I was getting a little bit of gap between my rear arm because it wasn't dropping in and then rotating. You'll see in the videos it's got a lot better. Footwork is still a little bit eh, not perfect but hey, we're work in progress. This drill though will really help you. Also, it'll help you get more what I call kind of like your hips working properly. So if you see from the side here, a lot of people are like this at impact. But if you use a tire and you keep your arms relaxed, see how my hips have got out the way because my brain is saying we want to be in a strong position when we hit that tire you get so much for free with this tire drill it really is for me people say well what is the point of it the point of it do you want to play better do it I I don't do it enough the last couple of months I'd have paid the price which is why I'm using the tire drill why I decided to do a video about it because to me it is the number one drill to get you exactly what you want. Your hips working how you want them, compression on the ball with a forward shaft lean, and rotation. I mean, there isn't pretty much of it. And it's all with a swinging motion. And it's all without thinking 300 different things. All I've got, and what I notice when I do this is my arms are, and hands are relaxed and I just rotate. When I'm swinging badly, I feel like there's tension in my arms and hands. And that will stop rotation, stop forward shaft lean, and everything else you want. So, again, from the side, it will look like that. Shifting weight as well, perfect. From the side, or should I say front on, without an 
expensive contraption without a million swing thoughts. And if you do that for like half an hour a day, you'll start finding your swing really improving. Now, how you can do this wrong, because Ben Doyle uh, you know, was obviously a big component of it, a big advocate of the tire drill, was when you add. See, that is adding. You don't need to add, you just need to rotate. There's no adding, perfect delivery. So this drill teach you, teaches you not to add. You don't need to add, you just need to rotate. And if your arms are relaxed, the speed will come through your arms. So, please try this drill. It's my number one drill for getting better at golf. And if you've got any questions, please drop me a line. Uh, any comments, drop them in there. And uh, this drill can seriously get you some good compression, everything you want. So, try it, press the thumbs up, and subscribe for more useful stuff that's simple, because you know me, my motto, keep it simple, and we'll both get better at golf. So, from Andrew Lynch, or Windy Barbados, take care and give this a go. Get back to me. Bye.